Hey, good morning. So, do you ever have that? Your like ponytail gets stuck in your hair. So happens whenever you have curly hair, and then look at all that hair. So weird. The whole time I'm pregnant, I didn't lose any hair. Now that I'm not pregnant, I can like pull it out like tons and tons. Look at all that curls. I hate my curly hair. Hate it. Absolutely hate my curly hair. Hey, Kaylin. I gotta get it put up though, but yeah, I'm like, I can, I can just literally do this and like, look at, can you see all that? It just comes out. There's just so much of it. I hate curly hair. Hey, Diana. Hey, Lacey. But I gotta re put it back. And then, since I got pregnant, like before, I never had these little thingies right here. These like little broken off thingies. But whenever you get pregnant, you like have these like things called baby hair, I guess, that comes in. I don't know what they are. So they're like sticking out. The only way to get rid of them is hairspray. You gotta like hairspray your hair down or gel it down right whenever you get out of the shower. Like my hair is still wet, kinda. And it's still. <sighs> That's. I, I didn't know what it was called. Yeah, look at this. Little bitty curly hairs. And I hate it. <laughs> Never had them until, like, right after I have a baby. But my hair is still wet, and I still have these little curlies. Because most of it's dry. So, you guys get to see me do that little thing. Because that's, like, the quick hairdo to do. Yes, Lacey, so does my... My shower, and we live out in the country, so we don't have like a city septic, I guess. So my shower, once every two to three months, I have to go in there and like de-hair it, I guess. Briley's shower, I never have to do hers. It's just our shower in the master bathroom. But I am so glad whenever Dollar Tree came in because I didn't know they had this thingy. But it's a little thingy and it has little... It's a snake. It's like a hair snake for your shower. It's only a buck at the Dollar Tree. And mine has lasted for like a year or two. I probably need to go get another one because some of my little teeth are coming off of it. But yeah, at the Dollar Tree is that little snaky thing. And hey, Hillary. Um... Fixing to make your sign. I think. It might be someone else. I don't know. Um, anyway, so you get this little hair thingy. And what I do, like once every two or three months, I take some baking soda. Because every two or three months, my shower will like be a... I have a stand-up shower. But it'll turn into like a bathtub to where no water wants to go down. And you're standing in... Hey, Stephanie. Um... So our shower will like have like two or three inches of water to where you're like now in a bath and you're like, I want to take a shower, not a bath. So whenever that happens after like day two or three, I'm like, okay, it's time to do the shower. You would think that your husband would go and clean the shower hair, you know, out of the little drain thing, but no, he don't. So that's my job. And I've come up with a system that works. So I go get this little hair thingy. Actually, I don't do that first. I get baking soda. And I will pour baking soda, like a quarter of the thing of baking soda. Sometimes I pour a half of the thing of baking soda down my drain. And my drain, I cannot lift out the thing to have like a big working area. So I have these like little bitty slots all around my drain. Some drains, like my friend Whitney, her drain will like unscrew off to where she has like a big hole. Jake probably installed that for her to where she can just un unscrew it and put a snake down in there because she has a lot of hair. Well, she did before she cut it. But, uh, so I have these little bitty holes to work with. 
And so I pour the baking soda and then I will come in the kitchen. No, I get vinegar and I pour vinegar on top of the baking soda and it starts bubbling. So then I'll come to the kitchen and I'll boil a pot of water. So I let that work in my bathroom for like 15, 20 minutes till I got a good pot of boiling water. Then I'll take that pot of boiling water and I go pour it directly on top of your uh, fuzzy bubbling mess. And all of a sudden, froop, everything goes out and it's like, that is the best thing ever. So then I take that long snake thingy and I go and I can pull out tons and tons of hair. But yeah, I hate this hair. I hate this mess. And every year I go and cut my hair, but this year I'm like, I'm not cutting my hair. I'm not cutting my hair. I want my hair to grow. So yesterday was a fun day. I discovered we didn't get all the snow like Monette and Mount Vernon did. They have snow upon snow. I have no snow at my house. Still have no snow at my house. Um, but yeah, Monette and Mount Vernon got tons of snow. I uh, went to a boys' home world treatment center. Duh. Did a painting, and that was an experience. But uh, came home to. Let me turn the camera around. Hey, Amanda, long time no see. Let me turn my camera around. Now, my belief, how I always grew up, you put your Christmas tree up the day after Thanksgiving. I'm not dogging on everyone that has their Christmas tree up right now. They wait until the day after Halloween. But, my Lord, look at that. Someone put my Christmas tree up way too early. Thanksgiving is not until next week. You know what they do? <laughs> I did it. And she. I I cooked dinner and did that. Dad did not do anything. And you're feeding the baby. But look at that. I have a huge green thing in my living room. That's not supposed to happen until next week. Next Friday. She didn't decorate it, but she got it up. My 11-year-old did it all by herself because she knows I'm not going to help her because it is not time yet. <laughs> last night she uh i called her and i was like hey i'm on my way home so i told him i said i'll call you know in case the roads are bad and she's like i did something what what did you say to me you said i put up the tree and whitney said if a man if your mom gets mad she can suck it or something what what'd she say she can that. what'd you say that i can cry all I want to or whatever or say tough luck. What'd you say? I tough, luck. tough luck. Yeah. So she told her if your mom gets mad, just tell her tough luck. Well, <laughs> I'm not mad, but I am. <laughs> Cause it is not thanks. We got to finish a holiday before you start a new holiday. That's kind of like Walmart. Sorry, Amanda. It's like, Julie, I am fixing the head there. That's what I wanted to show you on this video. <laughs> oh, um, getting to the to the part that I'm going to show you. Um, because I found this really awesome font that I just fell in love with. Love it. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Julie. I didn't. Even, and now I see you, Julie. Come in. But uh, Diana, you don't rub off on her until after Thanksgiving. You, you got to finish a holiday and then you start a new holiday. What I was saying about Walmart, that's just like Walmart. It's Halloween and they already have Christmas stuff. And what I hate about it, me, I'm a last minute shopper for stockings. I'm a last minute shopper for like Valentine's and everything. Hey, Brindis. So whenever you don't let a holiday end, Oh, it's on our Walmart is the worst. Like I will go in there literally Christmas Eve, but I learned at our Walmart. You cannot do that <laughs> at all. You have to go to Monette Walmart or Rogers Walmart if you want to do what I usually do. But our Walmart is the worst. I will go on Christmas Eve at night 
to get all the stocking stuffers. And Santa Claus does that. Santa Claus does that. So I will go and get all the stocking stuffers. And sometimes I'll go Christmas Eve in the morning and I'll leave it in the car, you know, and then at night, whenever Santa Claus comes, like two or three in the morning, Santa Claus goes to the car and fills up the stocking. <laughs> but our Walmart, I will go in there and so Santa Claus at our house, he puts candy in there. But you know, down that one little aisle right there by the uh, trees and garden center, where it has like the little dollar lip glosses and the little dollar fingernail polishes and all those little bitty stocking stuffers. None of them are there. And then you go over to the candy section in the food aisle and it's already Valentine's Day. It went from Christmas to Valentine's in less than a couple hours. And it's like, whoa, Christmas is tomorrow. At least wait until tomorrow or wait until midnight on Christmas Day before you start putting up Valentine's. And I think last year... They started Valentine's a week before Christmas. And so I really wasn't on my A game. Good thing we got the Dollar Tree. But then the Dollar Tree has really sucky candy. So, not sucky candy. I mean, they have name brand candy. But the, the one Christmas candy is not good for a stocking stuffer. And it, yeah, I don't know. I'd just rather have Walmart candy for stocking stuffers. But, so I'm not dogging the Dollar Tree. <laughs> But it really, really sucks for the people that are last minute shoppers. You cannot get your stuff because they're like, oh, let's do this holiday. Oh, let's do this holiday. And it's like, let's just finish the one holiday first. I'm not even ready for Valentine's Day yet. I have it, you know, I want to have Christmas first before Valentine's Day. And before Valentine's Day, we still have a holiday in there and that's New Year's. I don't even know if that counts as a holiday. And then they totally skip over St. Patrick's Day, my most favorite holiday of the whole entire year. I'm not Irish or anything, but my favorite color is green. But they need to put some little gold nuggets or something. <sighs> That's my rant for the morning. But anyways, what I'm supposed to come on here for, I found a font that I love. So let me turn the camera around. So I'm making this sign. And it says, love you to the moon and back. And this is the font I was going to use. Oh, let me show you the picture of the sign. Oh, where is it at? Come on, computer work. So this is what they want. Love you to the moon and back. See that? They're going to put their baby's footprints for the V and then their daughter's handprints for the moon. So see how that's like really scripty right there and see the two and everything? So let me go back to my Photoshop. I was like, oh, I can do this. That's really, really pretty. So then I'm over here. Let me go and do what I did. So I wrote love. Let me write the to the moon and back. Love you to the. Okay. So see how that does not look like that? See the, see the T? That's what I look at. I look at, like, the curlies. Arlene, I need to go there for St. Patty's Day. So see that T? That does not look like this T. So, I found a new font. Let me turn that off. Look at that font. Isn't that pretty? And the name of the font is Yessi. Look at that. Oh, would you look at that? I'm not going to do that video. Quit saying the words, Amanda. But if you like fonts, I go to the font. And right there it is. Because I was like, I need to find a font for these signs. So I wanted to look up the because that shows, you know, my T. What I'm, what I, the thing I was looking at. And I was like, yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's, that's okay. Ooh, that one's pretty. And so I'll download a lot of these. I love this one, by the way. Queen Thine. But that's not what I was going for. Uh, that's all right, but that's normal. And then I'm scrolling. 
And I'm scrolling. And then I seen Yessi and I was like, fell in love. If I can give myself my own little hearts here, I totally would give myself some hearts because I love this font. And I think, so let me go change love to Yessi real quick. Um, look at that. It even does the little heart. See the little heart for the love. So, <clears throat> this lady's sign, where's it at? See her love? It don't have the little heart and everything, but my sign is going to have the little heart. It's going to have the long thing. Oh, I love this font. I think I found a new font for like all my signs. I found a new font for everything. I'm going to start using Yesi. From DeFont. That, again, that's where I get all my fonts at DeFont. Because they're free. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, I fell in love with this font. It is just so pretty. And I love the creators that make these fonts. And I've never contributed to a creator or donated to a creator. And I just might give this creator a couple bucks. Because... He did awesome. He, she, where, let me find it again. Find out if it's a he or a she. Oh, uh, where is it? I lost my font. Where did you go? Did I scroll too much? Yesy. Um, donate to author. Let's see who this author is. See if it's a boy or a girl. It's got to be a girl. Because that's too curly to be a boy's handwriting. Could be wrong. I don't know. It says seven in types. So I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. But they did an awesome job on this font. I wish I knew how to make fonts that pretty. That's really pretty. Hey, Trish. Hey, Kim. But I'm going to get off here. That's why I want to come show you guys was this font and talk about that tree. And then, of course, my little curly postpartum hairs that you all got to see in the beginning of the video. I uh, I got a plan. If it works, I'm gonna you're going to start seeing a lot of me. I'm thinking about vlogging, but I'm not very funny. But I was like, I don't care if I'm funny. I just want to talk every day. So that, that's coming up soon, maybe, if I get enough guts to. But anyways, you guys have a great day. I am fixing to head to the shop. I just got to get this sign prep done so I can go to the shop and make the sign. But uh, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.